uh, to start out today's video, we're just fishing for some small stuff and uh, hopefully some bait. Looking for some pinfish. I'm um, staying at the KOA, Campgrounds America, uh, campground in the Keys. And um, the one of the workers told me that by the boat ramp was a good spot. So I was checking it out and just seeing what we could pull up. I'm just using squid for bait uh, on a little hook and getting a bunch of little nibbles. Oh, this is a nice fish. It didn't take very long to hook some fish. Um, and this ended up being a pinfish, so we're going to keep this guy's bait for later on uh, for some bridge fishing. Pinfish, I guess. They're like little porgies. Sorry. Oh. Alright, the plan here now is to live line one of those pinfish that we caught. It's just on a small hook with a dropper loop, and I'm just going to send it out by the pilings, see what we can get. And just, the plan was to just set it down and see what picks it up. Uh, this isn't one of the bridges off of over the overseas highway. It was a smaller bridge that me and my dad found. So, here goes nothing. Yeah. Yeah. You should have checked the fresh water box. I'm gonna set it like in between our I'm gonna try and flip it right at the middle pilings. What? There might be something on it. Ready? It's a fish. Uh, it, I, it's pulling a little hard for that tiny little pinfish. Yep. What is it? A jack? I think it's a jack. Or it's not. Feel me. I think it's a yellow jack. Or so I don't. I don't know what kind of jack this is. But he ate it right away. It's not a jack creval though. So what? Whoa. Wow, this guy's pretty. I think these are the edible jack. That was like immediate. Yeah, I can't believe it. Back up a little bit. So I believe this is a yellow jack. If I'm wrong, you guys can correct me down in the comments, but that's what I'm pretty sure it is. Wow. That was cool. So after catching that jack, I was going to go back to trying to catch some more pinfish for bait. I wasn't really sure what I was allowed to use for bait down here, so I was just sticking to using pinfish only. But my dad had another uh, pinfish out while I was trying to catch some more bait. The amount of life down here is just ridiculous. It's just like every drop you gotta hit instantly. Um, just so much more life down here than Ooh, up by me in Long Island. Well, like a pinfish. 
fish room a lot. What is this? Oh, it might be a baby Jack Craval. Looks like that baby Jack Craval. Ooh. I don't know. Yeah, that. So after catching that Jack Craval, which was a new species for me, I dropped straight back down and. Just like that, hook into another new species. I believe this is a Sailor's Choice Grunt. Um, I caught, ended up catching like over 17 new species on this Florida trip. So I got a bit bored um, just catching fish every drop on the squid. So I was going to switch over to a spoon, see if I could get one of those yellow jacks on artificial using my 8 foot ODM DNA and my 5000 Sa Shimano Saragossa and just a gold like 1 ounce spoon I well, believe it is by Salt Native um, I'm just going to throw it at the pilings and uh, retrieve it in all, all different retrieves try see if anything hits but back to what I was saying about the species um, it is just incredible how many different types of species are down here uh, if I really targeted trying to get as many species as I can. I, who knows how many I would have caught, um, but I really added a bunch of species to my life list, which those of you that don't know, don't know my life list is uh, just a documentation of all the species I've ever caught. I started in 2019, so anything before that doesn't count, but I'm at like 75 species now. So that is going to be it for today's video. Didn't ca end up catching anything on the spoon. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. And more Florida Keys content will be coming out soon.